Hey guys, this is Maria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you five ways how your preschooler can break down numbers up to 10. Most of the activities in this video will require additional materials and printables, which all will be linked in the description below. Also, I filmed another video about Montessori math. Actually, might be several of them, which will be linked in the description as well. Because for this video, the prerequisite is for your child to understand numbers up to 10, also being able to count past 10 to 20. So basically it is for kindergarten age kids, maybe pre-K, but as always in Montessori, if your child is ready, you know your child best. So if they are at the stage of being able to bring down those numbers, those activities are free. So I will start this video, this activities with the simplest one that even the more starting up in addition world kind of kiddos will probably enjoy and it is number ones. Number ones, what I would suggest, I would find, uh, and if I can find the printable specifically for this, I'll link it for you below. But the one that has just the three circles, one of them in the middle, bigger, you can always draw it on the paper too, you don't have to have a printables. So the idea in number ones is that when you're doing addition, because they can be used for subtraction as well, you put uh, the whole number at the top, and then the numbers that make up this number go at the bottom. So in this case, it would be two and one, make up three. The way you do the activity is that you let your child pull out the number of counters. You can use as counters any kind of material. I used acorns for the fall, you can do flowers for the spring, you can use mushrooms, cars, dinosaurs, whatever your child is into at the time, because I find if you introduce something that they love already, they are more likely to do the activity. I also will show you uh, the subtraction activity, which you want to start a little bit later, because let your child master the additions first, like the way to total. But the subtraction would work pretty much similar way. You would put the total number up here and one of the parts down here. So you they would have to find the part. Make sure you always keep it consistent that the total number always goes at the top and you can always make this circle either bigger or outline it. The next one is Montessori bead bar additions. And this is actually one of my favorites. And we do uh, use Montessori materials a lot. So with the Montessori bead bar additions, you would have to have two sets. Typically, this material is introduced way younger at the age of three, where your child is learning one-to-one -one correspondence. And then it is the same material that is used later on to do addition and subtraction for uh, a hands-on uh, math, as a hands-on math material. I will also show you the alternative that is more traditional and is used in Singapore math next. So anyways, each color uh, bead corresponds to a certain number of beads and uh, it is always staple in Montessori environment. For the bead bar additions, you will need to have two sets and then you will also have to have a separate set of tens. This is a, an option and you can do it several different ways. Now you can have an uh, extension paperwork like this one where your child will have to layout in this case it would be uh four yellows and then three pinks next to each other and then they would count all of them together and then find the corresponding number of beads and then count all of those beads together and then write down the number for worksheets i'm going to link the worksheets i actually already found them online uh, again this one's a great you would need to have colored printer to print it out the other alternative for this if you're trying to make all combinations till 10, you can use one and nine from this other set, put it together and then put number 10 next to it. So your child can equate that nine plus one is 10, two plus eight is 10 and go through all of them, making all those multiple combinations that make up number 10. A more traditional alternative for uh, Montessori bead bars, which can serve the similar pop purpose, is the math links. And uh, Minor from Learning Resources, several different companies do it. Basically, it is this blocks that snap on. And in Singapore math, in the classrooms, at foundational and elementary level, that's what is used. So you can use... Uh, the only thing that I like less about this than the bead bars, because colors are inconsistent, where with bead bar with bead with beads your child already can look and see like oh pink is three it's already automatic in their head sometimes they can just guesstimate by looking at the color 
speeds up the process, makes them learn faster, but you can absolutely use this. You don't need even to use printables for this. What I do actually with my son, more so who is four now, uh, we just make up different kind of combinations. And I'm like, okay, how many uh, blocks is that? And he's like, three. And hey, how many is that? Four. He touches each one of them. Make sure when your child is counting, they touch each one of them. And then when we combine it, it's seven all together. So he, when he counts, so we write numbers three plus four equals seven. So the idea is very similar to Montessori bead bars. The set comes with um, three, ten colors. So I think it's a hundred cubes total. So you can create any kind of combinations. You can do subtraction with the same links. So for example, if you make this, right? As an example, this is your line. Yes, Kachet, okay, how many do we have? We count all of them. So there was seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we've got 13. If we take out three, subtract three, how many do we have? Now we have 10 and your child counts each one of them. So though this material works similar to a Montessori bead bars, and it could be easier, especially if your child have not been exposed to Montessori previously. Another super easy, great way to expose your child to uh, making numbers up to 10 is number line additions. And those are pretty easy as well. And you can even DIY it and laminate it. But again, I'll find you the worksheets and they will be linked below. Basically what you do, your child will start with looking at the spreadsheet or at the sheet of this kind. And you say, okay, let's start at zero, one and two. And we have three more, one, two, and three. So now we, what number did we end up with? And the number that you end up with, you put in the required square right here. It's very uh, simple, self-explanatory. And there is multiple ways you can do line additions. You can do copy, <laughs> that makes it a little bit more fun. And you can introduce it even right now for springtime and Easter. Another great material to use at home is also 10 frames. They also can come with printable spreadsheet, but if you have an opportunity, just buy yourself a set of 10 frames because you can use them so much, even past the combinations of 10. Right now, we will just talk about the elemental. So it, this is from Learning Resources, and I love Learning Resources when it comes to materials for learning like this one. And um, so there is a 10 frame, they snap on, up on each other so if you need to go past into the teens if you can even need to go past that it will give your child visual hands-on cues and children still even in elementary ages like first and second grade still benefit from using concrete materials and especially kindergarten age for sure you want to use those so the way it works the way 10 frames work uh we'll just use one of them and this specific set comes with a chips and one side is green one side is blue which is kind of will make it easier so let's say what makes up 10 right you can put three and sorry, that foul. three and seven would make up 10 so if you lay it out for your child you can do it several ways you first can lay it out for your child and ask them how many in total then you can ask them to count all the green ones and all the blue ones. So three and seven make up number 10. Now, if your child is past learning about tens, you can incorporate another frame, which is gonna snap on this, and then you can do... Now, number 11 will be made up of one 10 and one one. Now, if I'm making number 14. How many tens and how many ones do I have? I have still one ten and four ones. And this is what helps also as a spreadsheet. This is my daughter's spreadsheet. I'll just show it to you. So there is always one ten at the top. It kind of depends how you want to present it. You can have it in the two rows of five which still makes sense. Just try to be consistent in the very beginning. Once your child gets the concept, it doesn't really matter anymore. And then here, uh, you see there is a different number of ones and then how much in total does it make up? So that helps your child to break down numbers past 10. I hope you enjoyed this video and I gave you some good ideas on how to present these lessons to your child, whether you're trying to supplement, 
help them out with some math, bring in some hands-on materials, or you are homeschooling in the current environment. If you have any questions, make sure to give, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you later.